I'm Lee Elizabeth on YouTube. I am back to crappy lighting and etc. Um, webcamness because, as Liz said, I lost my iPhone. Of course, there's a better story behind this. The better story is that Liz and I went to Disneyland and it was amazing and fantastic. And at like 10:50 we got on the ride, and at like 10:45 I had been looking at my phone, and when we went to take a picture of Sleeping Beauty's castle, went into my purse. No iPhone. So Belle Rose has gone on an adventure and have put her on the lost phone registry and hopefully um, someone is not using her as an iPod and she just fell off in the black um, ride and it might show up because the person at the Disneyland Lost and Found said the longest she's had a thing be missing for it is a month. So my hope is not all gone yet. In the meantime I have this phone. This is a um, droid something or other. I don't know. It has a slide out QWERTY keyboard, which I thought would make it like really awesome. It's my dad's old phone, that's why it's like broken and stuff. Um, I just have to say, the iPhones, uh, iPhones design is just so much better. Like, this is heavy, it's, it's not convenient to hold, phone is horrible, and like, why? I don't know why they design these. It just looks clunky and the OS is clunky and but on the plus side I have phone so I'm not really complaining I'm just saying that when the new iPhone comes out I will probably um, save my money for that anyway Liz I think the clear solution to your job conundrum is that you just get your scuba license I want to get my scuba cert and then we can both go to Australia and scuba so yeah I, do, I, I think that you should just do that unless of course you have fears of confined spaces because I think being underwater in a scuba m might be similar issues. I don't know. If you have um, claustrophobia, tell me if you have problems with swimming underwater or thoughts of scuba diving. And I had an amazing time on the west coast and I'm really sorry that this is either a day late or several weeks late depending on how you look at things. But um, I got to see my brother and my sister-in-law and their adorable dogs, who I call puppies, even though they're not really puppies, but Miley might be sort of a puppy. We don't really know how old she is. I think she might be, like, maybe a year old. She's adorable. She's just, like, fluff. Um, and I don't have any pictures because my phone is dead. Well, dead to the world. Gone. Found greener pastures, perhaps found a new new owner, or perhaps is just chilling at the bottom of Space Mountain in Disneyland. I don't know. It could be. It could be that way. I don't know. I started my um, volunteer position this week, and I've gone for two days. And bonus, I got upgraded to intern. I'm not really sure how that happened because I just said I was volunteering, and I came in the first day. The guy's like, "This is our intern," and I was like, "Okay." So it's been fun. We're doing a unit on light and optics, and it has involved a lot of me showing people diffraction gratings. Pretty cool. We also made a laser maze that I did some of the programming on to make work. Which is really cool. Um, and now I am less impressed by people who program robots if they just use this Arduino software because it has a lot of the knowing how to do things in it. It's just it's just programming. I don't know. Anyway, um, it's pretty cool. And uh, Emily, hopefully I will see you tomorrow. Bye, girls.